Hello and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today we are going to look at how to change footage that you've shot in the daytime to look as though you've shot it at night. I have here a short film which I did called Terror and if you look on here you'll see it's shot in the daytime. We have the man running into this little abandoned fallen down shack. We have the monster coming out seeing him. He runs into a clearing, the monster finds him, he drops his phone when he sees the monster again and it comes and gets him. But what I want, I want this to look more like it was shot at night, give it more of a scary feel. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on our project bin and we're going to put in, where are we, new item, adjustment layer. And then we'll drag the adjustment layer onto our timeline and just drag it out. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold here. I think I might have been losing my voice. My kids think it's wonderful. We're going to our effects. If we look at this, we've got here on our adjustment layer. The first thing we're going to do is desaturate. So if we go into our video effects, and we find our color correction. There we go. And first thing we're going to use is fast color correction. Reason why we're using this, we're not changing the color, we're changing the saturation of the color. So just under the big wheel, you've got your saturation. We take this down to about 30. There we go, 31. You notice straight away on here. A lot of the colours lost. This is because at night you don't see much colours. If we just turn that off, you'll see the colour come back in and out. Now we've done that, we're going to really make it look as though it's night. So what we want now is our RGB curves. Now you can either drag it again into your effects panel or drag it onto the subject in your timeline, whichever way you want. You could use levels but I prefer using RGB color you can do a lot more with it. First thing we're going to do is bring the master the white balance down down a bit about to about to there and then we'll give it a little bit of a boost a little bit of a tweak so you get a bit, a bit too much a little bit There we go. Now, next thing is we're going to reduce the red and, and increase the blue. Now, for some reason, film at night when it record when you're recording at night on film, it sort of brings out more blue colours, whether this is because of the moon or what. And there we have our man running in at night, but. It cut, it's cutting down what the monster sees. So what we're going to do, if we enlarge the the timeline using your plus or minus keys can enlarge it. And what we're going to do is using our cutting tool, we'll go along to where the monster first sees him. I'm using the arrow keys just to move the timeline along one frame. There we go. So we'll cut that and then we'll move along till we see it, find where the monster leaves him, which is about there. So again, we will make a cut there. We'll go back to our pointer and delete that bit. We'll go along and do the same for all the other bits where the monster sees him. So that's there. So we're looking at auto save. Gotta love it. Back to our cut tool. Cut it. And then move along to the next bit. Oh, 
cut it, go back to our pointer. You can cut that then, idiot. <laughs> Delete that. Move along a bit more till we see the monsters through the monster's eyes again. And there we go. Just bring that down a bit. Let's play. There he is in, at night running into the shack. Shape we change the camera angle then to the monster, to the monster's eyes. They are seeing a nice red now showing that the monster can see at night. Monster, cyborg, whichever. He sees it, he runs, looks away, comes into the, uh, the, the little clearing. He looks around. Monster sees him again. He drops the phone. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that bit there. He drops the phone. Monsters go back to the monster's view and it comes and grabs him. Oh, I hope that was helpful. I'll just show you at the end of this just that, that clip properly and uh, please if you like it click the thumbs up button and subscribe for a tutorial every week have a great weekend bye